the United Kingdom and the European Union are getting closer to settling the Northern Ireland Protocol dispute. The dispute that's been instigated really by the DUP, the Democratic Unionist Party. But how the hell can the, well, the European Union rely on the UK to adhere to the UK's and Northern Ireland, uh, well, proposals, you know, the red-green lanes for imports into uh, Northern Ireland from the United Kingdom? If they can't be bothered to stop the cheap tap from China entering the European Union without customs checks? Well... The United Kingdom has been fined as a result. And that was why we were in the EU. <laughs> anyway, while you're here, please boop the old like button. And if you want to support Shani, do it on Patreon or buy us a coffee. And the links are down below in the description. But also, we have another channel. And it's called All Shorts Shorts. And it's full of shorts videos. You know, like the little TikTok videos. The vertical ones, under 60 seconds long. Little snippets of the news. Why don't you go over there and subscribe to that channel as well. Well, Britain has already paid a fine <laughs> of more than £2.3 billion to Brussels. <laughs> it gets better, it does, yeah. This is for allowing, well, Chinese gangs to flood Europe with cheap tat. You know, cheap shoes and clothes and for peasants. Well, I suppose that's in the mantra of that walking pony farm, doff cap forelock, uh, Jacob Rees Mogg. But how do we know this? Well... It slipped out, it did, yeah. Just before the parliamentary recess, that um, the Treasury paid £2.3 billion to the European Union to settle a long-running dispute over these lax customs checks when Britain was uh, well, a member of the bloc. Well, the sum, which would be enough to give the nurses a pay rise of around 3.3%. Blimey. Well, it has been paid in three instalments over the past seven months and includes hundreds of millions of pounds in interest because the government did not settle earlier. Well, Meg Hillier, chairwoman of the Public Accounts Committee, described the sums as, um, well, rather shocking. But will this madness be in the mainstream news? Or will it be, well, cloaked again by another dead cat such as our tiny PM posing in a school pretending to be all compassionate? You know, a compassionate government. <laughs> well, that's an oxymoron. But don't worry. We have avoided a recession. Mm, in technical terms, yeah. So, so what are you complaining about, frankly? Yeah, you have loads of money, don't you? No. Well, I didn't think so. Well, I think you're all being a buffaloed. And the secret word of today is buffaloed. OK, leave it in the comments down below. What do you think? Leave that in the comments down below. But also, here in France, we've got a bit of land, you see. And we're planting trees. We're planting 1,000 trees on two hectares of land. And you'll be part of that if you like. There's a GoFundMe link down below. You can buy a tree. Yeah, and buy a tree. We'll put a tree in, on your, in the ground on your behalf. And we'll put a sign with that tree with your name on. Or maybe in memory of a loved one. That's the idea anyway. Yeah, I think it's quite a good idea, really. What do you reckon? Leave that in the comments down below. And do you have any ideas for our rewilding project? Because we're also making bat boxes, bird boxes and stuff like that. You know, little habitats for the little animals. Yeah, they need someone to live too, you know. Oh, anyway, my heart goes out to all those in Turkey, I have to admit. After seeing the tragedy unfold, currently around 20,000 people have, have lost their lives. It's heartwarming as well to see those being pulled out of the wreckage and uh, the families just elated, I suppose. They are, they must be. I, I, can't, I just can't imagine how they must be feeling. I really can't. So I give a you know, give a thought to those as well. Anyway, I hope you're gonna have a lovely day. Anyway, I'm gonna go and walk my dogs. You know, they're here somewhere. Got a Sebastian. Oh, there's Sebastian. Yeah, I better go and walk them. Don't you think? They're feeling a little bit neglected. I think yeah, because I'm yapping to you guys. Oh, I can see Wally's on his way as well. There's my Wally. There he is, just over there. He's coming. Oh, here he comes, Wally. No, he's ignoring me. I think he's deaf actually. <laughs> No, okay. Well, I think he's ignoring me. So, and um, my Pandora's already in the car. So, yes, it is time to go. 
So I'm gonna say, uh, ta ta, you know. All right, Pandora, are you already in the car? She jumped. You say hello. Alone. No? Okay, she's having a, having a chin rubbed. Okay. I never get my chin rubbed. It's not fair, is it? Ta ta.